a makeup cake. A beauty full makeup cake. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could make a face and put makeup on it with luster dust. And I can. I learned a lot from these cakes. Hi everyone, my name is Sir Sharonin. Let's get started. <laughs> Before we get into the video, I want to make sure that you know that there are links in the description box so you can help save animals from the wildfires in Australia. They will be there for the entire month of February, so donate if you can. So the reason I decided to do this video is because of my Maleficent cake. I created Maleficent's face out of cake and I was so surprised at how beautiful this cake looked. It's hard to make faces, especially pretty faces, because they need to be symmetrical, they gotta have smooth skin, and I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to recreate that. And especially Angelina Jolie's flawless skin. But I was. This cake turned out great. And I've always had ideas to create avant-garde makeup looks. Like, you think about the doll cakes I create, I want to apply that to the face, but I never thought I could create a face until this cake. So this is my first of hopefully many makeup cakes. Now to create both of my cakes for this video, I am using my adjustable cake pen. I created this very ugly shape. It's supposed to be the hair part of this cake. And I knew that I wouldn't have to cut away so much if I used the adjustable cake pen, which is why I used it here. So I'm gonna cut it in half, add my skull cake, which is the perfect cake for this because you do not have to carve the face shape. So I'm only going to use the sides of the cake, the cake that goes underneath the skull. I'm just going to eat that for lunch. Hopefully. Maybe for breakfast, but I don't know. That might be too early for cake. Now I wanted to do two kinds of cakes. I wanted to do a cake that had really curly hair, and I wanted to make another cake that had really straight black hair. And now I got like curly black hair when it grows out. My sister has that like super straight flat Asian hair. <laughs> I wanted to create that ear. So I cut away the sides of the cake and then I just sort of started to blend the sides of the cake to the skull. This looks like it's gonna be an extremely scary cake but it's not. It actually looks really cool. Now because I'm creating flat black hair, there's no texture really. I just smoothened out the sides and rounded out my edges and then I started to fill all of the crevices of the skull. So the nose cavity where the teeth are supposed to be and a little bit of the eyes just so it's not so sunken in. Now to create the nose, I'm using this like little ball of fondant so that there's more of a protuberance so that there's the ball of the nose. Then I covered my entire cake with some light skin tone fondant. I was really scared when I was doing the lips and the mouth. I wanted very small features and I was scared that I wasn't going to achieve that. So I spent like a whole bunch of time making sure that I got all the details I wanted for the nose, the mouth, and also the eyes. One of the things that I got wrong here, especially with the eyes, is that they're not completely symmetrical. I didn't see this till later, but one eye is like a little bit higher than the other eye, but that's okay. This was kind of a test. I can improve on all of my stakes in future videos, and so I'm okay with that. Now one thing I learned about makeup cakes, I don't know what I'm calling this yet, makeup beauty cakes, is that when you're creating the cake, you have to start with the hair. And I didn't have a complete idea of what I wanted the hair to look like, so my cake doesn't look like the finished product and I had to use a lot more like hair fondant than I wanted to, but that was the only way to achieve the style that I wanted. So I'm adding three blonde pieces of fondant. We got one for the top, we got one for the sides, and I'm just using some fondant tools to add some details. Now for the right side, I tried on a lot of different things to create the hair and I kind of wasn't happy with it. So after I added the left panel to create the hair, 
I decided that I wanted extremely curly hair, like Tori Kelly curly. I love Tori Kelly's curly hair, so that's what I was going for here. So I'm just scrunching up a whole bunch of fondant and applying it to the sides of her hair to make it look super curly. I repeated that on the left side. Look at that, there's a lot of fondant going on. That's okay, you can pull it off when you're eating. I didn't like how it was just like pulled back all the way at the top. So I decided that I wanted it to look like she just parted her hair and then flipped it over. Yes, you get what I'm saying? I don't know if I know what I'm saying. But I had to add a lot more curls to the top of the cake and I'm just having them rest on the cake board as well as on the previous layer of fondant. I think it looks so much more pretty when you have that like hair flip. Am I doing it right? I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. Now for the straight Asian, hi sister, this is cake is about you. <laughs> the straight black hair. So we've got a little bit of a ball of fondant going on to create the ball of her nose. Then I'm gonna add the same skin tone fondant. Is she Asian? I think she's Asian. Who is she though? She's so mysterious. <laughs> now again, I'm creating the nose. I wish I had enough of a technique that I could create different types of noses. Like one that was more pointy, one that was a little bit more slender, with lips that were voluptuous, lips that were thin. I don't know how to do that yet. I'm probably going to learn throughout these cake processes. But for right now, I'm just making a small nose. And it looks pretty, and I'm proud of it. You guys are looking for some Rastopliny, Rhinoplasty, <laughs> Rastopliny. <laughs> you could use this as a reference if you want. That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> so I'm adding the eyes and the eyelids. Again, I think that these eyes are a little. Yeah, I think the left eye is higher than the right. <laughs> Why do they look so sad also? That's okay, it's fine. Then we got some scored straight black hair going on to the sides. So I'm adding four pieces of fondant and I decided that because her eye really isn't like <laughs> level, I'm gonna cover it with some black fondant so you can't see it. It's hiding my mistake but also I can tell people that I did it because it looks more dramatic and it does but also I'm hiding my mistakes. So we've got this really nice bang that swooshes across one eye. Can she see properly? Probably not, but that's okay. It's just a cake. Now for these cakes, I decided I wanted there to be like this huge contrast. The black straight hair would have this very, very saturated blue eye makeup, very strong red lips. So I'm adding the blue with a little bit of luster dust mixed with some magic sauce. And the same thing with the red. Because this is more fantasy based, I'm highlighting her cheeks with a little bit of yellow luster dust. And then I started to work on her eyes. So just two or one brown eye actually, because I covered the other eye. So I don't have to work as hard because I don't have to do that eye. Now one of the things that this particular cake taught me was that I made the eyes too big. And so because of that, it doesn't look realistic. It looks very like comic booky. And voila, my first makeup cake was complete. Am I happy with the cake? I guess, kind of. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I would improve on. I think the length of her hair is a little too long, especially for what I was going for. But I can fix those mistakes in the next video. Now let's move on to my second makeup cake. 
Now to start this cake off, I wanted her to have really dark roots. So I'm just using a little bit of black luster dust and just painting the side where the hair is sort of parted. Now because we have some very saturated colors on the first cake, I wanted this to have very neutral. So I'm just using a little bit of pink luster dust that I mix with a little bit of brown and black just to get her eyelids. This sucked so bad. <laughs> I don't know anything about makeup. I don't think I did this properly. If you look at it up close, it looks like a mess, but that's okay because again, I learned. My least favorite part about this whole makeup process was the eyebrows. Eyebrows suck. Oh my gosh. How do you make the left one look like the right one How on your face, girls? How do you do that? Because I couldn't do it on this cake. There was always just little bits that were a little too thick and a little bit too thin and one of them was like too long, but it's okay. I figured it out in the end and that's fine. Now I wanted her to have some really thick eyelashes. So we got some black food coloring going on there and then I gave her this nude lip. Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's pink. It's the same type of pink that's on her eyes. It's not very saturated again because of the contrast. After that, it was time to work on her eyes. I thought it'd be cool if she had some green eyes, so that's what I decided to give her. We're starting out with a very pale, almost like a lime green. I'm adding a little bit more brown just to soften them up. And then we got some pupils and two catch lights. You can see the white of her eyes underneath the eye, and I think that makes it look more realistic. And voila! Both of my beauty cakes were complete. What do you think? For a first try? Is that a good first try? I think they are pretty good. Now again, both of these cakes are like drafts. There's a lot of stuff about this that I'm unhappy with. But the process really taught me a lot. You know, the design of the makeup on this and the design of the hair, especially the black hair, was too simple. I've got a ton of creative makeup ideas for cakes like these, but I just wanted to start out simple. Now, if you have favorite makeup artists that you think I can pull ideas from or even techniques from, then let me know in the comments. I need a list of like makeup gurus so that I can try and figure out what I'm doing. Cause I don't know. I hope you guys found this entertaining and I hope you found it educational. I love you, I will see you very soon. Peace.